So you may have even got that accomplished on your homework, but we're going to talk about it in class for just a second. Do you remember what evaluation means, by the way? When I say evaluation, that should mean something to you. What's it mean? Another way of writing it. Okay, there is another way of writing it. But let's say that this is my problem. Because you need to know what that evaluation actually means. So if I gave you that problem, I said evaluate, I gave you x, y, and I said x is negative 8 and y is negative 12. What's the first thing you're supposed to do? So evaluate means, y'all said this, y'all said plug in. Evaluate means plug it in, and then do we plug it in and leave it, or do we plug it in and do the math? Plug it in and leave the math. That's what evaluate means. Plug it in, do the math. That's basically it. So when I say evaluate, you're all going to tell me it means plug it in and do the math. Are we, are we clear? You awake today? You ready? I like that shirt, by the way. The, that one. Okay. So plug it in. The only thing you got to make sure that you do is make sure that you have the signs with those numbers. Don't lose any. Because if you lose some, you're going to be off by a positive or negative. So in our case, x was negative 8. So instead of x, we write negative 8. Tell me one way I can show that that means negative 8, not minus 8. What can I do to that? Let's do that. That right there groups it and says my number is negative 8. I want that. Then it says y. What does x, y mean again? X times y. Okay, and somebody else, what am I going to put next after, for, in place of the y? Again, this is even more important than that negative 8. I really want to make sure that says times negative 12 instead of minus 12, right? We don't want, we don't want minus 12. So we're going to use those parentheses again. That right there says the same thing, negative 8 or x times y or negative 12. So we have those negative 8 times negative 12. Now we can go ahead and use those rules that we learned last time. Is this going to be positive or negative? Positive. positive. Beautiful. How much? 96. Awesome. I'll do one more with you. I'll give you a couple do on, the, on your own, and then we'll call it good for this section. Oftentimes, if people make a mistake on this one, we're, we're going to get 51 no matter what. Okay, it's either going to be positive one or negative one is, is going to be our answer. I'm right, sorry, positive 51 or negative 51 is what we're going to get. So 51, everyone's going to get that answer. We just need to make sure we have the correct sign because that's the important part. So when you're evaluating this, in order to correct, get the correct sign at the very end, you got to make sure you have all those negatives accounted for. So when you look at the problem, it says negative x y. I need to make it real clear to you that this negative doesn't count for that negative, and this negative doesn't count for that negative. This one's going to be there no matter what x is. I'm not sure if you're following me on that. This, this negative is going to be there no matter what. So right off the bat, we're going to write negative. That's not going to change. That's going to be there no matter what I put next. Now I look at what the x is. How much is x? So I can't do, please watch on the board for a second. So I can't just do that. Right? That is negative 3, but if I do just that, I've lost that negative. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So how you accomplish this problem, you go, okay, I've got the negative. Now I look for the x. The x is negative 3, and to show that that's negative 3, I'm going to do the parentheses, just like we did in the previous example. In fact, I can show you this in the previous example. If I went and put a negative up here, look what this is going to do. If I magically had a negative up there, all this would do is go, negative 96. That's what this negative is doing for you. Okay. So we do have the negative from the original expression. We've got the negative 3 from our x. Our y is, what's it say? Yeah. We want to make sure it's not minus 17, but negative 17. Hey, is our answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. negative. How can you tell? Great. Three negatives. That means we're going to get a negative product. We do the 3 times 17. 2 negatives, 8 <laughs> positive, right? Exactly. And then the other one that's left over just that, make, that remakes it negative. Right. And so we're going to get... 
we got our 51. Why don't you try two on your own real quick? See that you can get them. Make sure you're, you're plugging it in first, not doing the math in your head, then evaluating after that. And I'll be walking around. If you do need help on this, raise your hand or just give me the confused look and I'll come around and help you. Oh, and I have lots of homework to pass back. Make sure this gets around to everybody quickly, okay? Let's see what happens on these things. So in each case, we're going to plug these numbers in. We're going to substitute. And then we're going to see what we actually have. Maybe change some signs. Figure out how many positive or how many negatives we, we have on these problems. Figure out whether the answer to be positive or negative, and then do that. So in our case up here, this negative that we cannot change that one. That's just there from the beginning. So that no matter what we plug in, that's there. The x, however, that's going to be negative 18. To show that that's a negative 18, we're going to put some parentheses around that. And then we're multiplying by 3. You can put 3 in parentheses if you'd like to. You can just multiply by 3. It really makes no difference in this case. Uh, and 3 is that positive, so it's, it's implied that that's positive just by writing like this. Is this going to be a positive or a negative answer? Positive. positive. Definitely. Yeah, we have only two negatives. Negative and a negative make a positive when you're multiplying. Mm -hmm. So we take our positive 18 times our positive 3, and we're going to get how much? Negative 54. 54 or negative 54, which one? Positive. Definitely positive, because we have only two negatives. Okay, last one. Of course our x is 72. That's kind of a nice one. There's no negatives involved with that. However, on the denominator we have negative y. Negative y means, firstly, you've got to have the negative. Next, you have to have the y, exactly what y is. So, if our y is negative 9, we get negative, negative 9. Are we going to get a positive or a negative out of this answer? Positive. What do you think? Let's see. How many negatives do we see? One, two. Two negatives. Even number of negatives, you're going to definitely get a positive. Positive. How many of we got both is right? Okay. All right. If you mess it up, just check the signs again. Uh, usually it comes when people are plugging in, they'll forget one of the negatives, or they're, or they're, not, they're not, getting, not catching one of them. They're just forgetting to calculate one of those negatives in their head. Hey, that's all there is for division and multiplication of integers.